Welcome to the Echo Zulu, or easy version of the rules. A simplified version of the standard rules that are much easier to pick up and play. If you're a casual player or have friends that are new to the game, then this is a great place to start. Firstly you need to choose your country. Each player gets their own deck of 25 cards. Choose your decks now. All players will set up the same way, at the same time. Matching the layout you see here. Your yellow leader card goes on the left, and the remaining 24 cards are shuffled thoroughly and placed face down on the right. During the setup phase you won't make any decisions. You will be laying out your first 6 defense cards hoping to build a stronger defense than your opponents. Start with the top card, and place each card down, one at a time. Brown, blue and white cards are laid down to the right of the yellow leader card as shown. Any orange cards are discarded in the discard pile above your draw pile. Keep going until you have 6 cards stacked next to your leader card. The cards may look complicated, but there are only a few things you need to know. The important parts on your cards are the color of the border, the defense rating, the attack rating, the shield icon on the special cards, and the icon on the brown military cards. The text and photos on the blue, white and brown cards do not influence the gameplay. The only relevant text is on the six orange special cards and these are the same for each player. All players will now draw the top five cards from their draw pile, this is your hand. Throughout the game you will always hold five cards. You will always play two cards during your turn, followed by one discard, either from your hand or your defense stack. During gameplay, attacks come from your hand, defense comes from your stack. The only exceptions are three of the special cards. During your turn you can attack another player using one, or two brown military cards. You can lay down a brown, white or blue card as defense. Or you can play an orange special card against another player. Let's see what happens when the USA plays a brown military card to attack the USSR. The attack value of 200 defeats the blue science card worth 200, and both cards go to their own discard piles. If the attack value is lower than the defense card, only the attack card is discarded and the defense has won that battle. Now let us see what happens when the USA plays a special card against the USSR. This special card removes an opponent's lowest science and culture card from their stack. Both the blue science card and the orange special card are discarded. Now that you have played your two cards, you must discard one card either from your hand, or from your stack. In this case we will discard the white assistant leader card. The final part of your turn is to replenish your hand with three new cards from the draw pile. Now to explain the defensive strategy. Each time you add, or discard a defense card, you should attempt to form the blue cards, or brown cards into groups of three. When defense cards form groups of three, they function like a single card. Their defense value equals the total of all three added together. In this example, the three blue cards total 500 defensive points, and the three brown military cards total 300. An attacker would need to launch an attack of 500, and then 300, in order to expose the Cuban leader. Then, another attack of 200 or more would knock Cuba out of the match. If you have more than three cards placed alongside each other in a stack, it is the three cards on the right that function as a block. The remaining cards on the left are treated as individual cards. Unless they form another group of three. White assistant leader cards do not function in blocks, unless they are next to the yellow leader card. They do not adhere to the rule of three cards. If a white card is next to the yellow card, it automatically functions as a block. Now we will explain the nuclear or blitzkrieg icons and the corresponding attack. If you hold all three brown military cards with the nuclear or blitzkrieg icon, you may play them in a single attack. The attack removes your opponent's entire defense, aside from their leader card. 
The only way to defend this attack, is to play both shield icon special cards from the defender's hand. During a game with more than two players, any player that has been knocked out, can continue to play a minor role. As long as there are still two leaders playing. The player will simply flip their defeated leader card and expose the fallen leader. During their turn they will play a single unseen card against an opponent of their choice. If the card is brown, the attack must be defended by the opponent. If the card is blue, it is lent to your opponent and added to their defense stack. If it is a white or orange card it is simply discarded. That concludes the easy rules for the game, good luck.